Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. You already know to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. I'm just going to uh, cover a lot today in as short of time as possible, all right? So make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Let's get the likes up on this one. Notification bells if you're not already subscribed. But if you haven't subscribed, Go ahead and do so, what you're waiting on. All right, so today's uh, video is brought to you by Moomoo. Moomoo, you're gonna get to seven free stock and four fractional shares, but for using my link, you're gonna get three more at seven. And later on, I just wanna talk about the power of fixed income, 5.1% on your uninvested money. Fixed income, good people. All right, so uh, let's let's look at that. All right, so let's... Um, Let's see what's going on. We have PPI today. Usually we have CPI and then we have PPI the next day, but we have PPI producers price index today. And as you can see, it was hot. Okay. It was really, really hot. Now that um, just kind of goes negative against the stock market. The dollar usually goes up, yields go up uh, with high inflation. Inflation is still sticky. The uh, Fed is talking today. And um, we'll see. I don't know the outcome of him talking. We'll see. Uh, the market usually takes a little time to decipher uh, this information. But, you know, uh, the mean stocks are really, really doing their thing right now. And we have to uh, we got to take a look at it, good people, because a lot of people are in it. A lot of people are gambling. A lot of people will lose money. Right. I took a few notes here. GME and AMC was halted more times than you going local to work in every single light catching you. That's what's happening to GameStop and AMC, right? And AMC, um, I, I'm, I, you know, I don't like what the CEO does every time, you know, this much capital comes in and, uh, and there's high interest, uh, high short interest. He usually does a share dilution and it dilutes you guys. Uh, Adam. And uh, it's just not really, it's not cool to the investor. I understand he's trying to raise money for the company in the long run. It could be good, but it's just, um, he, uh, it's just not cool the way he does it. So let's just take a look at what's going on right now at, uh, this is the noon day. So we got, we could see the markets are f mostly flat. I would say mostly flat. Let's go right into GameStop. All right. For those of you, that are out there <laughs> on the craps table. <laughs> so let me just tell you guys, um, as you can see, it went up and it's a slow roll down. But even now, um, three hours before closing bail, GameStop is still up 34%. It went up over another 100% and AMC is up 17%. So here's what happened last time. And this is one of the things that I tried to... Um, you know, warn people about it's acting exactly like it did before. Exactly. The second day in the pre-markets, it, it goes to a high and then right at open, it kind of drops a little bit. And, you know, of course, causing some people to panic sell. Uh, the ones that made the money in, uh, in the pre-markets were the ones that got in as soon as the market opened in the pre-markets. If you want an app that you could trade in the pre-markets, Moomoo is one of those apps. Just get you, open you up another app. I would not be in an app that I could not trade pre-markets, but a lot of people get burned. Okay, let me check things off as I uh, talk about them, all right? Because I just took some notes, all right? There was over a billion dollars lost last, yesterday on shorts. Companies are shorting uh, GameStop in AMC over a billion dollars. All right. That's a lot. Let's look at what's going on right now. So what happens is um, a lot of people, once they hear about GameStop, just like we said last cycle, once you hear it on the news, it's time to sell. And what was all over the news yesterday? GameStop and AMC was all over the news yesterday. So we had a pre-market run up and then it fell. Now, I want you guys to look at one of the uh, 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 things that I get with the Moomoo app. Okay, so look at this. This is this came up 
And it says GameStop call options attracted in 4.6 billion bullish bets before stock pop. You see, look at that before the stock pop. And they asked the question, could the Wells have foreseen the return of the mean stock guru, uh, Keith Gill, you know, Rowan Kitty. And so these are some of the things that you get that you got to research, right? Because don't get it twisted. Some of these institutions are making money on this also. This is not just all retail investors. We learned that from the last time. So what normally happens is after GameStop, it's always GameStop first. And then it's usually, uh, like I said, it's usually a 48 hour max, right? Then drop and then it could come back like it did last time. But I'm not in any of these plays. I'm not gambling this time around. I'm just telling you guys, all right? I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do. Okay. I just want to point out. Uh, some things for you to maximize your earning potential. There will be a lot of money made, but there will also be a lot of money lost, right? So here's what happens. GameStop pops off. And then next thing you know, AMC pops off, right? Then these, right? When these two pop off, then you go to the other stock with short interest, okay? High short interest. So you go to stock like, uh, Blackberry, Coss, which is, you know, the headphones and all of that, uh, and Tupperware brands. These are all meme stock. And as you could see, these are still up. Coss is still up uh, $23, right? I'm sorry, 23%. Blackberry, Tupperware. But as you could see, what is that? Coss, Coss really jumped up this morning, all right? Let me go, let me pull it up by itself so I could do this. Uh, because it really jumped up this morning. Okay. So let's look at how much it jumped up this morning. As we could see, it's up 21%, but at one point it was up an extra, uh, about an extra 20, uh, 18% from where it is even right now. So it was the runner today, but if you look, it really jumped up from here to here, look at that, 112% from May 13th to the 14th, okay? So in a day, it jumped up 112%. And these are some of the names that, you know, a lot of the news media is not talking about, all right? So that's what normally happens. It runs over to the other ones. And this is not limited to, this is just a few of them, Blackberry Calls and Tupperware brands, okay? So let's see what else we got here. Uh, yeah, I was talking about how many times it got halted. It got halted yesterday. It got halted multiple times today. It was just stop after stop after stop. And here's what happened last time. I want you guys to be aware of this, all right? So remember, last cycle we had the naked short selling and all of this stuff, and it was just insane the amount of things that institutions could do that you and I couldn't do, right? So here's what happened. Ken Griffith from Citadel, that was in the movie. The movie was called Dumb Money, okay? A lot of cursing, a lot of unnecessary language in this movie. So if you're going to watch it, watch it with you, by yourself and not with your kids. But you can see uh, this was a while back, February 24 of 2022. Ken Griffith of Citadel lent Melvin Capital $2 billion because Melvin Capital was getting squeezed, right? So Melvin Capital was shorting, right? Um, and GameStop. So Melvin Capital was shorting GameStop. And this is what happens. Melvin Capital calls Ken Griffith and says, hey, uh, we need to, we need to uh, cover these shorts. And they said, sure, no problem. Here's $2 billion. You see how the institutions work together? Like you and I need to be working together. And so that's what happened. Two billion dollars they lent them to what? To combat us from buying up. I was in back then. I was in. OK, I'm not getting any in into any of these plays, but I'm not telling you not to. I'm just telling you here's what to expect. But remember, on yesterday's video, I showed you guys how it ran up and then it tanked. Then it ran back up again. And then there was a slow bleed just a slow, slow bleed. But 
My hat's off to the ones that was buying when there was blood in the water. There was a lot of people buying when it bled down, bled down, bled down. And it, it just, I bought a little bit more when it bled down and then I just stopped. But some of you guys, you guys bought down because you believed in the cause. My hat's off to you guys. But at some point we're investors, okay? And uh, so my hat's off to you. Everybody don't have the same battle, right? And uh, so that's what I'm going to tell you. What else do I wanted to show you guys? Uh, I said crowd moved other. Don't do margins. That's what I want to say. Don't do margins, good people. Don't do margins on any of these plays. You're going to get margin called and you're going to get wiped out. I'm telling you, if you haven't had a margin call, I have. If you haven't trading places, remember, if you watch the movie Trading Places, listen to 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 those two brothers. All right. They said, you got margin called, and that's what put them under, okay? You don't want to do that. So don't trade on margins, good people. Just don't do it, okay? Not on high, risky stock like this. Now, I just want you to know what you're buying. Now, listen, for people that want people to buy more into this, you know, tell them all the facts and then let them make their own decisions. As you can see here, GameStop, P.E., 21.02 now, 21.02, okay? And, you know, we got to keep it real. We, we just got to keep it real, okay? Um, I just wanted to touch on Palantir. A lot of people are talking about Palantir, as you can see in the last five days. I'm down with Palantir. We, we are down with Palantir. But you guys remember I did that um, call option on Palantir. It was a leap option. And I'm telling you, though, we're down for the week. These are my two positions now. Okay, I just keep buying my way down. And as you can see, we're doing pretty decent on these um, um, options that we that expire out. Leap options or what they call. You can rewind and go back to that. Okay, so that's what I wanted to cover today. Good people, make sure you check out Stock Up View. Listen, learn and earn, invest in yourself. Okay. Learn all of this stuff, everything you need to know to make money with the stock market, not just my self teaching, but I have these gentlemen stocks with Josh, Keenan, Grace, all right, mommy trader with dividends. And then I go in depth with cryptocurrency. I show you how to make money. I show you how to swing trade, set stop losses, all of the above. Now, I want to say this in closing. That last time we had this with GameStop, AMC, and all of this, what happened is a lot of money came in, but it started to spill over into crypto. And I'm probably going to be covering crypto tomorrow. It spills over into crypto, and this is the same crowd that buys what? The memes. And they buy the memes in crypto also. Now, I want to end by saying this, and these is facts. These these are facts. I said, these is facts. These are facts. And the facts are, if you have someone that puts in a thousand dollars and they make $20,000 off of a thousand dollars, right? Uh, doing options or whatever. And I'm talking about whether they're meme uh, crypto or meme stock. Just think about that. If someone puts in a thousand dollars and they make $10,000 or $20,000, just know that about 10 people lost money. This is the way it works. And some make more than that, right? There are some people and in institutions with deep pockets, they make millions of dollars and billions of dollars, right? And if they make, let's say millions of dollars, then millions, hundreds of thousands of people lost money to fund it. Remember, when a stock is purchased, someone sold it and vice versa. So what I will tell you in most cases, if you look at it and do the numbers, a few will win and many will lose. So just like I said in the Patreon this morning, there were people that were up ridiculously, you know, 150% in hours. And my suggestion is lock in your gains and don't come back in. Don't treat this like double dutch. If you get 150% and you got out on an option, then I'm going to tell you, you may get wrecked when you get back in. I'm going to leave it at that. Listen, we're not here to join any armies. We are here 
to simply make money. Make sure you check out the links below. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Live, love, laugh, and learn.